Alright, so, welcome to my first video of this series. It will be a bunch of different rides that I go on, and uh, this one I'm going out to Vancouver, Washington. So, I went there yesterday for work, and I'm going back. Pretty interesting ride actually, it's really fun, really beautiful. It's just past sunrise. <clears throat> so yeah, I figured I'd take you along for the ride. Probably not gonna be too much talking. Just let you experience it. I'm just listening to some chill music right now. This is the friskyradio.com. Swipe it over on the app, then you can listen to chill instead of progressive, but it normally is. There's a lot of really interesting parts on this ride. A couple, one really sketchy part when I have to go over the bridge into Washington. It's honestly like one of the freakiest things. Because <laughs> my handlebars are wide and it feels like they're just like scraping along the sides. <laughs> but it's pretty cool though. This part, it's a little park. It's really beautiful, I think. I come here a lot to take uh, pictures. Uh, that's why I'm not going to talk very much either, too. So I don't get bugs in my mouth. Bugs in my mouth! I was trying to find my, my uh, mount for my helmet, because I thought that would be better. Uh, we'll do chest cam this time, probably do head cam next time, and then see what people think, see what people like better. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. <laughs> just because I could just look at the map, it's like right on my phone, right in front of me. came back through here yesterday and there was like when I get up onto uh, <clears throat> Marine Drive like along the Columbia River oh man there was like it was just it's always packed with traffic in rush hour I mean people people have to sit there for like an hour just in that one little spot Uh, so, my 
total journey is about 12 miles. I'm going to charge while I get there, or when I get there, just because I can. Um, yeah. I may or may not be running late. I left myself about 45 minutes, so I was going to kind of screw with the camera. So it's sort of a last minute. I was sort of prepared. I planned on doing it yesterday. Uh, I didn't have time, so I barely had time today. So yeah, 45 minutes, 12 miles, that's about right. It takes me 56 to go uh, close to 18 miles, so yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Plus this, this route has like almost no stop signs or anything. It's not even until I get to Vancouver and then it's like a bunch of stoplights, but I might get lucky, we'll see. We'll see. So, you probably can't see my map on my phone, but we're going to the left is Smith and Bybee Lake. So right now we're like in between two rivers. We're in between the Willamette River and the Columbia River. And for part of the year, Smith and Bybee is like full of water. And then and then it's not. <laughs> and then the cycle continues. So I'm riding towards the Columbia right now. And behind me is the Willamette. So I'm in between two rivers. And we have to cross the Columbia into Washington. So I can go to work. Whoop. I love hitting that jump. It's fun. Well, I'm glad you guys are liking my new build video. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't. The more I think about upgrading my own bike. Oops. Uh, the more I'm, I'm not sure if I really want to because I called, or sorry, I, I emailed Grin Technologies about this new like switch uh, button module they have because I'm still trying to get basically the same thing as my cruise control. Oh, shit. Where I can, uh... Ugh. Ah, no crap. No oh, crap, not good. Not good. Um, anyway, so where I can... I can raise up my cruise control, which the way, it's, the way it works on my throttle is that it, uh, it's, it uses the throttle voltage. So my question was, was like, can I set it to where uh, since the module itself has plus and minus buttons and, a, and, a, and another button in the middle, it's literally the same exact thing as my cruise control module on my on my handlebars, but it can't do that. <laughs> it can't be set to do that. It can raise up the assist mode and the assist speed, which I guess, yes, does the same thing in theory. But I don't want to pedal sometimes. I want to just use my throttle. And that's the whole point of having cruise control, so I don't have to pedal. Or I don't have to hold the throttle, right? I mean, I still do pedal. That's why I actually like the plus and minus buttons on the cruise control, because then I can 
you know, I can hit cruise and then I'm at a good pedal speed, right? But okay, maybe I didn't counter a hill and I want to pedal a little bit faster. Instead of having to reset my cruise, or like with the Grin one, you can set it to where it like has auto cruise after a certain amount of seconds if you use a cycle analyst. But you can't like, you can't change the speed though, um, which is kind of annoying and I don't want to wait another seven seconds to like, cruise again or like wonder if it's cruising or not. Uh, I just want a button with a light that says cruise is on. Throttle. Simple stuff. So yeah, it really sucks because uh, I want I just want a little bit more power. I would like to put a 40 amp controller in. I really wanted to do the sideway controller because it's silent. So, that's me playing my tiny violin for the moment. I want it all, man. I want it all. <clears throat> and I really just don't want to put a pedal for a... I mean, if I were to do that, I'd want to put a, like a torque sensor in. And, you know, those are kind of expensive. Like now you're talking torque sensor and controller. And maybe even have to get another motor to make the motor won't you know, be strong enough. I don't know. Or just keep my bike the way it is. So it works now. Fine. And I found this little magic. Continue that story in a minute. waiting for the So here's like the interstate stuff. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, cruise control. So, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, that's what it was. Okay, so uh, what I found out um, is, so the, this throttle on my, on my bike right now is not the throttle that came with the kit. I had to replace it. And I kind of did notice, but I, I was just, I don't know, I thought it was winter maybe and my battery was kind of like sagging or something. But I noticed that when I pushed full throttle that it, it wasn't like as fast as it used to be. And, and, I don't go full throttle hardly ever anyway, so it's not like I ever really noticed that, you know? Um, but how I found out is that I, would, I went full throttle, I would hit cruise control, and then if I hit these plus buttons, <laughs> I can hit up to four times and increase my speed even more, which is funny. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to calibrate this throttle. If not, I might just try a different throttle or, or just, I don't know, it's kind of nice. I mean, it, it basically makes it so that uh, tops, you know, like I have, a, I have like overdrive if I really need it, you know, it's not like I ever use it anyway. So I don't know, I'm just thinking about. Driving around by the 
interstate, but... This is a super corniest way to get where I'm about to go, but... Bag it. It's probably the least just sketchy way, so I guess it makes sense. We are technically in Washington. We have just traveled to a different state. So welcome to Washington. Welcome to virtual Washington. I really don't get this little path thing. It kind of reminds me of Arizona. I don't know why. Like, my, parent, my grandparents we used to live in Tucson, Arizona, and like they have this weird shit around places. I don't know, it's just I don't know why everybody's from there.
point. The rest of the ride is kind of more or less city ride. That was kind of the adventure part of it. There's a little bit more, I think. Let's see. thought I was going to be able to make it <clears throat> before the allergies actually kicked in. Uh. Yeah, you know, just recording audio. No reason why I can't just be sniffling the whole time, trying to stay quiet. I get to an intersection, at least lately, when there's a car and they, they get there at the exact same time I do. I normally just go, unless it looks obvious that they're gonna go, because they're just gonna wave me on, even if I do stop. Ooh. Listening to some chill music. But there's like no words or like melody, so <laughs> sometimes like, like other songs stuck in my head. Uh, all right, it is 7.15, which means I have 15 minutes to get there. Whereas my map says I'm gonna take, or Google Maps says 27 minutes. Oops. So I gotta make up some time somehow, really fast. Maybe kick it into overdrive. Just a, just yes, to speed things up a little bit. Just a tad. Just a touch. <sighs> See, I just hit it twice. Now I'm like... something? 
details than you'd like. Okie doke. Alright, grand. So stuffy right now. Find some like bee pollen or something. Heard that's supposed to work. Okay, now it's down to 16 minutes on my little vehicle, so it's a good sign. Might just make it.
guys. I'm gonna stop it here actually because I'm getting close and there's a lot of traffic and I feel weird with the camera on. So there you go. Have fun.